Good morning, folks. Today we're going over sunspots, La Nina developed in the Pacific, pre-earthquake signals, and two studies on space weather impact to Earth. We also took a larger solar flare overnight from the large active region sunspots, so let's begin with the last 24 hours on our star. Things were pretty much the same until this morning, minor M-class flares erupting impulsively. But just this morning, about two or three hours ago, a larger flare occurred at that sunspot group. It was an M9, nearly X-class event, erupted from the trailing half of the big sunspot complex. Flare flash and plasma push from the eruptive event. The plasma did not really escape into a CME, but the sunspots need to be monitored closely today and through the week. The large group will be facing Earth for a couple days, and so flare and CME watch is high at the moment. We'll be watching closely. Up next, we're coming to ocean temperatures. And while this is pretty, it is less helpful than the temperature anomalies map. That's where we can see which areas are hotter or colder than normal in that giant blue patch in the east and central Pacific is La Nina. It is settled in and appears ready to hold on for the winter. We'll keep eyes on that as well. Up next, we're going to another paper on pre-seismic signals. Most of the ones we've seen involve atmospheric electricity or magnetic field changes before the shaking, but here they're focused on air temperature anomalies and outgoing longwave radiation. Both show the anomalous behavior before larger seismic activity, and then rounding out the bigger picture here. Up next, a new study is aiming to better track the electrical activity associated with aurora in the ionosphere. Even while most solar storms don't take out grids or networks, nearly all create some form of communications glitches. This electrical activity in the ionosphere is key to revealing exactly what is happening there. And last but not least, that electrical activity hit remarkable levels during the May 2024 solar superstorm. Expect papers on this event to keep coming out for years, but how long will it be before one of them looks at the dramatic impact, the puny space weather that caused it, and concludes something wasn't right, leading them to realize how much trouble our magnetic field is really in. Come out and see us, ObserverRanch.com. We greatly appreciate your support. We'll do this all again tomorrow, right here, but right now it's 5.45 a.m. in the new Valley of the Sun. Eyes open, no fear. Be safe, everyone.